Hello, my name's Mark Johnson. I've been asked to talk to you about uh, what I think the skills requirements will be for people going into information systems and IT five years from now. Now, I think making predictions like this is extremely difficult. Although, in the past, I've always found it quite useful to look at what our 15-year-olds are doing. OK, stop going on about it, will you? Well, they're not all like that. I'd like you to meet a young guy called Phil, who I've had a chat with. Um, in this um, interview scene, uh, I've been transformed into a dog, but don't worry about it. Hi, my name's Phil. I'm 15 years old, and I've been asked to talk about what kind of skills business will need in five years' time. In five years' time, I think people will communicate with each other in different ways. I hardly ever use email. I communicate with my friends today with Snapchat and Twitter. I think in business in five years' time, there are going to be a lot of kids who've been doing Snapchat and, and all of these things, and that's going to be the natural way that they communicate. Hi Phil, my name's Mark. I think this is probably right. Um, of course, not everybody, even your age, is doing all of this stuff, but things have certainly changed dramatically. And you only have to think about how long it was ago that you used Twitter to see how quickly things are changing. What new things will come along? Is email dead? And, but for IS managers, there are big challenges in provisioning and managing new communication services, different communication services. Should they be deployed within the business? Should they be hosted outside? These are big questions. We're going to need to know how to make apps or games, uh, things that people can do and engage with each other. It'd be really cool to create new things that other people can use. I think there are many new and exciting ways of being creative. Um, and whether you create your own new tools or specify what new tools would be a good idea for other people, there are still challenges for IS managers in terms of balancing the desire to empower people to be technically creative whilst at the same time managing the risks that that can bring. My friends, we find new cool things to do together. We do dub smash and uh, the Oculus Rift looks really cool. I'd really like to do something that goes viral. That would be really cool. I think all of this stuff is important because you're able to infuse each other and have fun and be creative. And who knows where the Oculus, is, Oculus Rift is going to be in five years time. Maybe we're all wearing headsets. I think businesses are interested in new forms of engagement because they can analyse the data that's generated through new forms of engagement and they can use that to understand their markets better. And this is a huge thing now in um, all kinds of organisations, that the data that's generated by customers, that's generated within the business, is being analysed in very sophisticated ways. And I could show you... Um, what an analysis of your Facebook posts, for example, would show to um, an organisation or to Facebook, and you'd be amazed at how much is revealed. Businesses have got to be creative. It's, it's got to be a creative and fun place um, where you can do new things and make, make them happen. It sounds easy, doesn't it? But I'm afraid it's not. Um, businesses are very complex social organisations, and technologies make them even more complex. And uh, power and politics are really important to understand. Uh, and I guess, you know, it's a bit like when you fall out with your friends. Um, but you can imagine falling out with your friends means that you risk losing your job. You know, it, it gets much more tense. IS managers have to work in a political environment. They have to understand how the political environment is changed by new technologies and particularly the effect of new forms of communication learning new stuff. Uh, there, there'll be new ways that people can learn online and certainly things like Khan Academy and that kind of stuff. There's, all, there's going to be so many more ways in which people can learn. Yeah, there's, there's been a real transformation here. I think it's possible that in five years time when you apply for jobs you'll be invited to engage in a sort of corporate online course as a selection mechanism, as a recruitment mechanism. Um, IS managers will continually have to engage in new learning opportunities and they'll have to create new kinds of um, learning opportunities for engaging staff online. Um, as technologies change, so the ways in which we train people have, have to become um, different as well. Okay, so my message really is that this is about engagement, 
rather than specific areas of curriculum content. And I do see a convergence between the priorities of educational institutions in finding new ways of engaging with their students and the priorities of businesses in finding new ways not just engaging with their customers but also engaging their staff and coordinating their staff. And of course the IS systems, the IS managers, are in the middle of this trying to coordinate all the different services that might be used.